probation officers usually have a bachelor's degree in social work, criminal justice, or a related field. A graduate degree is helpful for advancement. Like many people trained in social work, probation officers have the desire to help people. However, because your clients are people who are in custody or on probation for breaking the law, you may need to be assertive with them. You still have fun. What's made sense? Sometimes, a firm hand is needed to help them connect to a brighter future. Probation officers supervise offenders who have been placed on probation instead of being sent to prison. <laughs> when they investigate the background of offenders brought to court, write pre-sentencing reports, and make sentencing recommendations. A related position is parole officer. In some states, the duties of probation and parole officers are combined. Instead of supervising people on probation, a parole officer maintains contacts with convicts when they're released from prison. Once out, the offenders are required to stay in contact with their parole officer. It's a way of helping them avoid the situations that got them into trouble in the first place. These are very complex jobs, working in dangerous situations. But you know, that's a big Case limits are heavy, but deadlines are imposed by the courts. You may be on call 24 hours a day. Probation officers may be called upon to testify in court or work with other jurisdictions where their clients face charges. Clearly, these are jobs that require strength of character and excellent communication skills, allowing for the ability to understand another person's problems, even when that other person's actions are difficult to understand. 